I don't know, different people sort of think it's like the coolest thing ever and it makes you look super tough. I'd rather go without needles in my ear. Yeah, that's true. And the first time I had it, I was maybe 12 or 13, which was, oh, yeah, wow. was pretty grim. So. <laughs> merely a donkey, Nicholas, merely a donkey. Cut. <laughs> cool. I've got one question that is like very ignorant of me. So bear with me. So, Alfio, can we get up? Uh, a cauliflower ear <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because I, I I'm familiar with especially in, in in Brazil if I'm correct this is a sign of like elite elite oh, yeah. well that's I, f I feel like that's not from yeah, fighting enough. but am I right with saying that you got yours drained yes yeah so essentially I don't know all the signs around it but essentially you get contact to your ear. You see it a lot in wrestling, yep. judo, rugby even, when mm -hmm. they're getting a lot of contact to the ear. Not necessarily getting hit, but just sort of rubbed. Um, it just sort of fills up with blood. You stick a needle in there. They try to drain the blood out. Don't recommend it. It's a bad. It's a pretty horrendous feeling. Serious. And then eventually, I guess, if you drain it and you rest and you never do judo again, it probably goes back to looking good oh, again. Okay. But if you keep training, like everybody eventually goes back to training, he keeps getting hit eventually sort of just like gets rock hard and like mine are now rock hard and they can't puff up anymore so okay um i don't know different people sort of think it's like the coolest thing ever and it makes you look super tough i'd rather go without needles in my ear yeah that's true and the first time i had it i was maybe 12 or 13 which was oh yeah, wow it was pretty grim so oh, okay. um but yeah i think i've come out relatively unscathed so is and they're just like hitting him on purpose like I could imagine uh, in like South America. Isn't yeah, it? they just so ugh, the re the regulation horrible. and the health and safety. I mean, it, being priority. Would it be. sounds bad, but like if I go to train and I see someone with a fat ear, like you're gonna try to hit just to yeah. mess with the movie. It's horrible, but it goes full circle. Yeah, exactly. to you, it's it's just, to someone else. Yeah, that is interesting. So you mentioned there, like the repetitive um cycle of training it. Yeah. How are your shins? Shins, shins are actually pretty good. Okay, in other codes, that's yeah. more of a like. Hmm. Spot that's hit. Is well, that you correct? can't you can't kick or punch in judo. So yeah. you can do foot sweeps and stuff, which I guess when you're fighting other good people and you don't get good timing, you end up just like click, kicking people in the leg, which you can do it, I guess, a little bit on purpose too. It's definitely not like MMA where you're smacking someone's shin, but they get used to it eventually. You get little bruises and stuff, but it's okay. not a massive deal. All right. What's your greatest strength, would you say? Greatest strength? Whoa. Um, As in physically, like when I'm competing? Yes. I'd say like fitness condition was always a really big thing for me, especially when I was younger. I was always pretty small, hadn't developed a lot. I wasn't super strong when I was really young and fighting seniors as well. A lot of the guys were a lot stronger than me. So yeah. I think I just got, I knew that by the fight going longer and longer and longer, I had a better chance of winning. So I was just really fit, had a really good condition. And I knew if I could get the match to go like the extra time, then I could win. Yes almost all the time wow so in that case was that something that you identified as being like a competitive advantage that you really learned into yeah from a, I guess a younger age for sure because i was fighting as a senior when i was 17 18 when i competed at the olympics the only way i could beat those guys was if the match went four or five minutes in the first minute or two minutes i was hanging on for dear life because they're just bigger stronger way more experience, way better technically as well. So I just knew that if I could hang in for long enough, then eventually I could like even the score a little bit. But I guess as I got older, more developed, started doing a lot more strength training, that sort of evened out a little bit. So I didn't have to rely so heavily on that. But even still now, that's still, I guess, probably my biggest physical strength. Anyway.